Hello. Our devotion for today is entitled, Under God's Protection. And it is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verses 1 through 20. The Lord appointed 72 disciples and sent them on ahead of him, two by two, into every town and place where he himself was about to go. And he said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go your way. Behold, I am sending you out as lambs in the midst of wolves. I carry no money bag, no knapsack, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say, Peace be to this house. And if a son of peace is there, your peace will rest upon him. But if not, it will return to you. And remain in the same house, eating and drinking what they provide, for the laborer deserves his wages. Do not go from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and they receive you, eat what is set before you. Heal the sick in it and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not receive you, go into its streets and say, Even the dust of your town that clings to our feet, we wipe off against you. Nevertheless, know this, that the kingdom of God has come near. I tell you, it will be more bearable on that day for Sodom than for that town. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more bearable in the judgment for Tyre and Sidon than for you. And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You shall be brought down to Hades. The one who hears you hears me, and the one who rejects you rejects me, and the one who rejects me rejects him who sent me. The seventy-two returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. The 72 disciples who Jesus sent out came back, and they were completely overjoyed by their fantastic experiences. Even the evil spirits had been humiliated. It was really true. The Messiah had come. Then Jesus said something that could be understood only if you know how well the Jews knew their Old Testament. He alludes to one of Isaiah's prophecies about someone who wants to be almighty like God. The story about the fall into sin tells us that the, serp the serpent tempted Adam and Eve with this same tempt temptation. You will be like God. Genesis chapter 3, verse 5. That prophecy goes on to say, in the book of Isaiah chapter 14, verses 12 and 15, How you are fallen from heaven, O day star, son of dawn, but you are brought down to Sheol. And now Jesus says some remarkable words 
In Luke chapter 10, verse 18, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Satan, who was created by God and wants to be like God and create his own kingdom, will be destroyed. He will lose all of his weapons. When Christ came into the world and his gospel went out to the people, Satan's days were numbered. He seduced people into following his example to be like God, to write their own laws and to take control of their lives. But Christ offers something completely different to this self-assertive and presumptuous way of life. Behold, I have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions, Jesus said in verse 19. Jesus was quoting a well-known psalm, which begins, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Psalm 91, verse 1. This is Jesus' way of life, not trying to be equal to God, but to be under his protection. There's where you could receive the power he speaks about, to trample underfoot all the power of the enemy. Then we are promised, and nothing shall hurt you. When the desire to be self-sufficient causes us to be left alone, in the midst of all the powers of darkness, the chance to sit in the shadow of the Almighty is a source of infinite security. When all is forgiven and we have laid our life in God's hand, Satan can no longer do any serious damage to us. He has no right to us. He has no power over us. He can tempt and torture, but he cannot snatch us out of God's hand. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you are the stronger one. You are able to open things that no one is able to shut. You forgive so that no one can ever judge. You are our hope, our strength, our help, and our security. Those who were devoted to you looked forward to your coming. We have beheld what many kings and righteous men wanted to see, but never did in their day. Yet still they wanted to stone you because of who you are. That's how great blindness and the power of deceit can be. They crucified you and you let it happen so that you could destroy the enemy's power. Praise be to you, O Jesus. In your holy name we pray. Amen. God's blessings. I'll see you next time.